Hey guys, I've got an unboxing today of the Gundam Collection DX9. So, um, this, I actually purchased this as a whole display case. So it's actually got a little display thing on the back. But from what I understand about these is that these come with little LED bases. So this whole set together was something like, um, probably $45 or $50, but, um, each one of these little boxes retails for uh, 476 yen each, so they're a little expensive. Um, and you get 12 of them. This one's weird. The top was glued on wrong. I don't know what happened with that. But um, I guess those are just all the possible ones you can get. So it looks like you can get a, a Unicorn Gundam in uh, whatever mode, destroy mode. Uh, regular Unicorn Gundam, you can get a RGZ, which is a, yeah, I think that's just what they're called, RGZs, uh, Rizels, that's what I mean, Rizels. Um, you can get a Jagan, you can get a regular Zaku, which is kind of weird, then you can get a Zulu, so all Universal Century suits, which is always nice. Uh, it looks like that's all you can get, so let's hope we get uh, one of each, at least. And let's hope we don't get any clear ones, because honestly, I hate clear see-through blind bag things. They're stupid. I don't know why you'd want a clear one when you could get one that's, like, detailed and painted. And these are, um, here's a view of the little box. One four hundred scale. And there's all you can get again. And let's open it up and hope that we get one of each and no clear ones. Uh, we're going to get at least... A couple clear one. At least half of them, I'm going to guess, are going to be clear. Hey, look at that. We got a clear uh, Unicorn Gundam in Destroy Mode. Or no, that's not Destroy Mode, that's Unicorn Mode. With the head that just fell off. <laughs> okay, so there's the weapons. Yeah, so I'll probably end up painting this because I hate that. And there's the little LED base. A little thing in there so I'll, I'll go back through these after I've opened them all and uh, see what they look like assembled and lit up it's got a little info sheet yeah there's a nice painted RX-0 <laughs> it's kind of silly I, I hate clear ones next we have I'm just doing this so I can save the boxes I don't like ripping open boxes. I feel so dirty. There's our base. And hey, look! Another clear destroy mode RX-0 Unicorn Gundam. Fantastic. I kind of want to keep these bases grouped up. I'm not sure if the bases are all different colors or something. Yeah, this one was weird. It looks like yeah, it was just glued on upside down. See, that's why I don't like ripping them. It makes it all dirty. That means this one's going to be not clear, right? Come on. Nope. Another clear. Uh, this one is a... Uh, Rizel. I wonder... Is it a Rizel? Well, it says on the... No, it doesn't say. Yeah, it says, just says RGZ. But I think they're called Rizels. Man, I'm losing faith. The clear ones are supposed to be the quote-unquote rare deluxe ones, but so far they've all been clear ones. Finally, and of course it would be a Zaku. Well, there's just a regular old Zaku. That makes me sad. I'm very sad about that. I am so salty, just... Oh, for all the cool, like, unicorn ones, we'll give you the clear, crappy, unpainted ones. Then, for, like, the one that you don't want painted, we'll give it to you painted. Thanks, Bandai. Thanks a lot. I guess that's the life of blind bags, though. You never know what you're gonna get. Ooh! Now, this is what I like to see. This is a, a Jagan. 
and it's clear, but it's got paint on it. Now that, that makes me a happy boy. That makes me a very happy boy. Oh, extremely happy about that. That is definitely so far the best one out of the uh, package. So that, that, mm, I'm not going to say it made this whole thing worth it, but that definitely um, made me a little happier today. And here we have a Zulu, which I would have loved painted, but of course it's not painted. Not painted, because why would you have it painted? It would look awesome if it was painted. But I'll probably go in and paint it. Next we have another Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode. This one's red and clear. Yeah, I'm starting to notice a theme here. All the unicorns are uh, clear. Can we get a solid colored unicorn? Yes, we can. There we go. Solid unicorn. Nice. Solid color. That is what I like to see. We got four more boxes left. Hopefully these will all be painted. I probably just jinxed myself. Yep. Um, here is a Jagan unpainted. Unpainted Jagan. Clear unpainted Jagan, I should say. Next we have... Oh baby, that is what I like to see. That definitely just made this. Oh, that's really nicely painted too. Oh yes, Zulus. The uh, Zulus are definitely some of my most favorite um, Zeon grunt suits. So a painted one is fantastic. Next, we have. Oh yes. Painted Unicorn Destroy Mode. Fantastic. So now we have a painted um, Unicorn and a painted Destroy. So I'm pretty happy about that. And for our final kit, we get a... Another painted unicorn, but this one's different. This one has a beam saber. Cool. So we didn't get any duplicates. Um, do we get all of the different suits? I mean, we, we got some that weren't listed. We basically did. We didn't get this one, but that's cool. Um, I'm going to go through and assemble these all, and then I'll show you them all finished and assembled. So here they all are assembled. The one thing you might notice is that um, it's pretty much exactly half and half. And um, the one thing that kind of disappoints me is that the only LED color you get is uh, red. It's kind of tough to tell right now. I might have to shut the lights off. But all these clear ones have lights. So they got a little red light under them. Kind of makes it lights up the whole thing, but um, all the other ones just have the same kind of base, but they don't have a LED thing in them. So I'll go over each little figure real quick. Um, obviously the clear ones won't take too much time, but um, this one's the Rizel. It's got a little display thing, and the nice thing is um, you can actually change the batteries on them. So there's not much to talk about. The detailing's okay. Um, and then here's the Jagan. You know, it's just soft plastic. It's not painted or anything, so it's nothing too impressive. Here's uh, the Unicorn Destroy Mode. As you can see, the uh, gun got super bent. I'm just going to have to heat that up with a hair dryer and bend it back. And we got another Destroy Mode Unicorn, but this one has the bent bazooka. And we got a Unicorn Mode one with... Uh, the machine guns. 
And technically, if you wanted to, you could like switch out the weapons and stuff like that. Uh, then we have um, the Gira Zulu or Zulu. That one's clear too. Looks fine. Then we have the um, the Zaku, which I kind of find this as a joke when these are all like unicorn suits, and then they just like decide to put a Zaku on this like gigantic base. Because obviously the uh, difference is like the unicorn suits are a lot bigger than uh, Zaku's. But anyway, the painting's really good on it. It looks really nice. So that I'm pretty happy about. Next we have the unicorn in unicorn mode. It's the same thing as this one, except it's painted and looks a lot cooler. <laughs> Um, yeah, the painting apps are really nice on it, actually. It looks really cool. Um, so there's those side-by-side. -side. Um, I can't really do side-by-sides with any other ones, because they're all different. Here's a unicorn in destroy mode, but it's in a flying stance. But the, the painting's really good. Looks really nice. These are definitely very nice-looking little miniatures. So I can see that they make up for not having an LED in them. Next we have Unicorn in Unicorn mode. Um, in like a fighting stance with a beam saber. Unfortunately you can't turn the head, it's stuck like that. But again, painting's good. Everything's good. Then we have the Zulu, which again, looks really nice. The nice uh, sleeves detail on there. It's really cool. Got the Heat Hawk. Pretty nice. And then finally, this one was weird. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a. They produced it wrong or something, but it's a clear Jagan, but it doesn't have um, an LED. Thing. It didn't come with an LED stand, and um, yeah, it's got paint on it. And then it also came with like another stand piece. It came with two stand pieces, so that was kind of weird. But um, so I'm kind of happy with the variety. I didn't really get any kind of duplicates or anything. The one thing I wasn't too happy about was just how the LED ones, the LEDs are all the same color, and it's like that's all you get is like an LED. I'd much rather have the painted ones, but that's just me. So with any kind of blind bag, you know, it's a gamble. You're taking a gamble. So it's kind of an expensive box, but you do get a lot. So, um, you know, if there's ones you don't like, you'd always give them away to your friends. But uh, thanks for watching, and if you want to see any more Gunpla or Gundam-related videos, please subscribe.